as well as providing the ultimate private getaway, Annandale offers its guests an abundance of fun things to do. This morning, I've been invited by Stephen to kayak on Pigeon Bay, where he's promised a cuppa and some fresh steamed mussels for breakfast. That sounds like a pretty perfect way to start the day to me. So, Stephen, tell me what kind of wildlife would you see out here? Um, we see quite a good variety out here, eh? So, a lot of it's mainly bird life. Um, so, the two main ones we see are oyster catchers and a shag. Is that your favourite cod? Oh, definitely. Got to be. <laughs> Sorry, had to do it. I don't blame you, I don't blame you. I get that one quite a few times, you always get the giggles. <laughs> <laughs> quite a good few sightings of orcas every year they come in. And they come quite deep into the bay, which is pretty awesome. And you also get the old Hector's dolphin, which is kind of a New Zealand endemic species, which is pretty cool. So, and what do most of the guests say about Annandale? I think they just love the privacy of it, eh? You know, like you definitely feel like you're on your own, and if you want to achieve that, it's very easy to do it. You know, like you hear people driving for hours and hours and hours, in certain areas of the world to get from one activity to the next. Whereas out here, you know, you can go and do four activities in a day, which is awesome. They love the, the variety of activities they provide as well. So it's a super cool place. Love There's it. so much to do. Stephen, I've seen people, you know, get things out of the garden for me for meals, but never quite like that. That was <laughs> a sterling effort. Oh, thank you yeah, much. what a man, <laughs> diving down to get muscles. You're going to do it like in a light garlic and white wine sauce for me? <laughs> you can't get any fresher than that, can you? The fun doesn't stop with a morning kayak at Annandale. You can also channel your inner rev head and jump on a quad bike to soak up even more of the incredible surrounds. And what's, what's the reaction to people when they come out here and they get to go on the quad bikes we know with their friends and family members and see this beautiful countryside? It is such a thrill because for a lot of people it's their first time doing something like this. These quad bikes, they drive like Ferraris, you know, you just put them in gear and they're automatic and uh, as long as you don't steer off the trail, you'll be fine. Well, the scenery changes with the seasons and when we uh, get to the top of Mount Haytour, the views to the Kaikoura Mountains and the Southern Alps are fantastic. We're crossing farmlands, so there's going to be farm animals, cattle and sheep, but also wildlife around the streams and the wilderness areas. Two hours and most people are exhausted, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Now, I'm all kitted up. I've got some uh, very sexy attire on with my gum boots and my waterproof. Am I going to get wet? The more of an adventure you make it, the wetter you'll get. <laughs> so it's up to you how wet you want to get. Yes. <laughs>